Another high-profile officer-involved shooting goes from the streets to the courtroom. A police officer is heading to trial, facing serious charges for the death of a man more than two years after the deadly shooting. Off the top at six, a busy day of jury selection in a trial that will be front and center for the next couple of weeks. A case that's two years in the making during a time of tension across the country. Michael Eddington Jr., a Norfolk police officer, is charged with voluntary manslaughter in the June 2014 death of David Latham, a mentally ill man. It's a case that Hampton Roads is keeping in mind just days after incidents involving officers in Tulsa and Charlotte. The New York Science' Aaron Kelly will be covering this case for us. Aaron. Well, and incidents across the country were part of the questioning today. Jury selection has taken up much of the day, but I understand we are now in the final stages of that, and we expect opening statements tomorrow. Officer Michael Eddington Jr. had no comment as he walked into Norfolk Circuit Court Monday. The 27-year-old is charged with voluntary manslaughter in the 2014 shooting death of 35-year-old David Latham. The officer is expected to testify that he feared Latham, who police say refused to drop a knife, was going to launch himself at him from a porch in the Park Place neighborhood. Family members say Latham suffered from mental illness. During the jury selection process, about 60 people were asked questions, including about officer-involved shootings in Hampton Roads and across the country, law enforcement, and the Black Lives Matter movement. About half said they had heard of this case before. And we learned today that we could hear from as many as 40 witnesses, including members of the Latham family, members of law enforcement, and mental health workers. We'll be back here tomorrow. We'll have updates for you as well online. Live in Norfolk, Aaron Kelly, 10 on your side.